Hi, I'm Nathan and I'm an enthusiast and this is why. So this is my 2019 uh, i30N Fastback um, in Micron Grey. Uh, I bought it in December 2019 um, and it's got the Lux pack with the sunroof. Not something I initially wanted. Uh, but they threw it in, so I couldn't say no to that. I bought this because um, I was actually upgrading from a 2007 Ford Fiesta, so this was an absolute rocket ship. Um, I'd done all the research, I'd seen the reviews, I'd read all the, all the articles, um, I'd seen all the head-to-heads, and I knew it was the car that I wanted. It's so theatrical, it's so dramatic, um, especially with that res delete. Um, it just, yeah, brings a smile to my face every time I drive it. So since I've owned it, um, I haven't done too much to it. It's been pretty basic since then. Um, just a couple of little aesthetic mods. Um, got the metal uh, side seal badges, um, a couple of performance upgrades just with the air intake uh, and the new drop-in filter. So shout out to Damien from N Garage for sorting all that, that out for me. So I've got a lot of plans for it. We'll see how we go, we'll see how the budget goes. Um, next thing will be wheels and tyres. Um, the tyres are, they've, they've seen some work, um, so that'll be the next thing to go. Hopefully um, change it up to some 18 inch rims, just to improve the ride quality a little bit and, and improve my tyre choices. Um, who knows from there, maybe a flash tune. Um, we'll see, see what goes. Um, exhaust upgrades probably on the cars as well. Um, but yeah, looking forward to, to doing more and more. I love my N because it brings a smile to my face every time I drive it. Um, the pops and bangs are obviously hugely addictive. Um, I love how confused everyone gets when they, they hear it coming, when they, when they ride in it. Um, they just think, that's a Hyundai, it's not meant to sound like that. Um, I love taking it to the track, done that a few times as well, just the way it handles itself on the road, on the track. Um, I've even taken it off-roading and it's done everything with a plum, and yeah, I love it. Makes me smile, and uh, all the little luxury features, as I said, upgrading from a Ford Fiesta. I've actually got air conditioning now. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's a dream come true. Um, so my best driving experience so far, I'd narrow it down to two things. Uh, the first time I took it to the track uh, at the, the Bend Motorsport Complex, um, first time ever on a racetrack. Um, bombing down the main straight, 200 k's an hour, big right hand turn. Um, really reminded me that driving a car is not like a video game. Um, suddenly you got to turn right, uh, but a lot of faith in the car. Um, the car is a much better driver than I am, uh, but that was a hugely good learning day just for myself, but learning what the car's capable as well. Um, second experience was I took the car to the Flinders Ranges about a year ago. Um, it, on the, on the highways, uh, on long distance drives, perfect, put on cruise control, sixth gear. Um, but also while I was there, as I said, took it off road, driving through old creek beds, um, up rocky passes, some stunning views in the Flinders Ranges, but just the fact that taking a, a performance orientated vehicle with 19 inch rims, uh, low profile tires off road, it was terrifying, but it was amazing at the same time. If I had one road and one passenger that I could take the N on an ultimate drive, it would be a circle of Tasmania. Um, through the Alpine passes, um, along the coastlines, gorgeous views, tight, windy roads, uh, hit up a bit of that Target Tasmania vibe. Um, and I think my co-pilot would have to be my partner, Sam, because she just brings the best snacks. 